I know what it's like to underperform and take that quiet car ride home. You're sitting with your parents, everyone's quiet. You know they're disappointed, but you're disappointed in yourself. I know what it's like to be cut from a team, overlooked by a coach. I know how it feels to not even want to go to practice because you know your teammates are going to make fun of you and humiliate you. Football can be extremely frustrating, especially when you're not playing well. But I want you to know that I've been through all that and I've come out on the other side. And I say that not to boast and not to brag, but to let you know that it's a possibility and you can do exactly the same thing. You can improve all of your skills, your fitness, your understanding of the game, your decision making. You can become mentally stronger so whatever you're struggling with right now i want you to know there's a solution to your problem and it all starts with you seeking that information now i've made thousands of videos they're all out there on youtube you can use them to improve but if you are tired of improving at a steady but slow rate and you'd rather get results right now this season then I want you to really consider taking advantage of this opportunity that I have for you today. Week number one is all about goal setting. And if you do not know where you need to go, you're never going to get there. More importantly, if you do not know who you need to become in order to achieve what you desire, then you will never obtain it. So week number one, we're focusing on setting specific goals that are gonna motivate you and move you closer to the player you need to be. Week number two, mentality. If your mind is not working for you, I guarantee you, it's currently working against you. You need to have a strong mental foundation, the ability to overcome problems, confidence in tough situations. So many players play well in training or play well with their friends, but they crumble under pressure. We need to sort that out immediately. Week number three, training principles. What you do is very important, but how you do it is even more important. So in this section, we are gonna talk about what you should be focusing your time on, but more importantly, how to get more out of the time you invest. I want you to be the type of player who gets more out of one hour than most players get out of 10 hours. And that is totally possible if you start following the advice of these training principles and techniques. Week number four, nutrition. Sadly, an area overlooked by most players. And if you've managed to get decent results without taking nutrition into consideration, imagine what you could do if you started fueling your body properly. We're gonna talk about hydration, nutrition, supplementation, and how to have a better understanding of controlling your muscle gain and weight loss. Week number five, technical skill development. If you want better ball control, better shooting, dribbling, turning, passing, first touch, all of these areas will be improved when you take this information into consideration. Combine this with the technical training that you'll be doing on a daily basis and you will start to see a big change in your skills very quickly. Week six, athleticism. This is something I struggled with growing up and I see many players doing the same things. We only focus on our technical development and we neglect the physical side of the game. But this sport is becoming more and more physical and if you cannot keep up, you will be left out. So week six, we're focusing on fitness, taking care of your body, becoming faster, stronger, breathing efficiently, and how to play with more aggression and intensity. Week seven, decision making. Your skills, your fitness will all be wasted if you do not develop the ability to make the right decision at the right time. This is what separates average players from elite players. You need to become smarter. You need to play quicker. This section will help you do all of that and more. 
Week 8 Defending. One of the quickest ways to transform your game overnight is to put as much effort, energy, and passion into your defending as you do your attacking. Everyone wants to score goals. Very few players want to stop them. Be the type of player who loves to do both and your game will change overnight. We'll talk about individual defending, team defending, and how to become a better defender on your own. Week number nine, attacking. Defending is extremely important, but if you want to be the type of player who catches attention and stands out on the pitch, you're going to have to make an impact on the other side of the field. Creating chances, scoring goals, dribbling past players, making more assists, all of this covered in this segment. Week 10 is all about match performance. As I stated earlier, many players have the ability to perform well, when it doesn't matter. But when the final match is being played, when the tryouts are being held, you need to have the ability to show up and play your best game. In this section, we'll talk about how to play better in matches, how to prepare more effectively for matches, how to go in with the proper mindset so you can dominate when it matters most. Week 11, recovery. If you want to be able to perform consistently, to have a long career, to avoid injury, you need to learn how to take care of your body and how to efficiently remove stiffness and soreness so while everyone else is complaining, you are rested, rejuvenated, and ready to go. Week 12, taking action. Being a good player is very important. But there are millions of players around the world who are good players but never make it to the next level. It's because they don't take the proper steps. So whether you want to make a higher level team, you want to earn a college scholarship, play professionally one day, being good enough is not going to get you there. You have to do specific things to get to the next level. In this section, I'll give you very detailed information on how to achieve those long-term goals that many of us have. During this 12-week educational process, you'll also be doing a 12-week at-home training routine. I wanted to create something that you can do in a small space with no equipment so there are no excuses. Each day, you will do a different workout routine which will focus on a different area of your development. Every four weeks, the difficulty of the training will increase, starting from beginner, moving into intermediate, and finally, the advanced routine. The workouts are 15 minutes in length, so you have no excuses. If you want to become a better player, you can commit 15 minutes per day. Below each training routine, you will find an in-depth tutorial explaining how to do each drill more effectively, tips and ideas to get the most out of each session. You will also get access to 12 professional match analysis videos where I'll break down movement, decision-making, technique from the best players in the world to help you get a better understanding of what you should be doing when you're on the field. On top of all of that, I'll give you access to programs I've created in the past. These range from interviews with professional football players, FIFA agents, club scouts, college coaches, at home cooking tutorials, additional training routines you can use at home, in the gym and on the pitch. Some of these are very in-depth training courses that I've made in the past and you can go through all of these at your own pace. 
Many players have gone through this academy in the past and seen great results. Their skills are improving, their confidence is up, they're starting to get more playing time, performing better in matches, they're getting respect from their teammates and their coaches, and they're starting to achieve all those goals that they set for themselves in the beginning of this program, and that's an amazing thing to see. Now, what I did with those players in the past was more of a personal engagement with me. It required more of my time. We were doing weekly video calls, weekly content uploads, and for that reason, I was requiring more money for the time that I had to put forth. Now, I'm going to do something a little different. You're still gonna be able to ask me questions. I'll still respond to you with video messages, but this is going to be more of you getting all the content at once and you working through it on your own time. You'll still be able to send me those messages. I'll help you whenever I can, but because it requires less of my time, I am asking for less money. You are going to invest $300, not $1,200, just $300, and you'll get all this content, the 12 weeks of training, plus all the additional bonuses, over $1,000 in products that I've created in the past. You're going to get all of that, and all you have to do is click the button below this video. Once you do that, you make your payment, you'll be sent an email, and you can get started with your training right away. So if you're the type of player who is really serious about becoming better, you don't don't want opportunities to pass you by. You don't want to look back in your career and say, I wish I would have done more. Then I would really encourage you to hop on this opportunity. What's the worst that can happen? You're going to get better regardless. And the only way you're not going to get better is if you don't actually go through the videos and you don't actually do the workouts. But if you do those two things, I guarantee you'll see great results and I will be here to help you. You can always send me a message if you're having any, any, any issues with the training, if you're confused about anything, if you want little tips and advice, send me those messages and I will respond to you when I have the time. So thank you so much for considering this program and I hope you sign up and you work through it and you get some great results and you send me a testimonial so I can share it with everyone about all the amazing improvements in your game that you've seen using the Online Soccer Academy.